One of the really excellent new tools in Reason is its ability to automatically slice up audio on the timeline. And this happens without you actually having to do anything. All audio that you record or import into Reason is now analyzed by the application and rendered elastic and sliced up on the timeline by detecting its transients. And if that sounds familiar, it's basically the same as what Recycle does. And Recycle, of course, was one of the first applications the propeller heads ever made long before Reason. And it renders audio almost as flexible as MIDI in terms of timing and the way you can work with transients inside a clip. So we'll get into the details of that later in detail, but I'll just give you a very quick rundown of how it works. Let's say I wanted to import an audio clip, a loop. I can go up to import audio file. I've got some WAVs here. I'm just gonna import this. There it goes. Now you can see it's slightly too long. Uh, it's in the wrong timing for our project. And you have for a while been able to hold down the Alt key and just snap that loop to the correct bar length. So that's, uh, that's the same as it always was. If I play it back, I'm gonna turn it down a bit as well. You can see up here you have new volume controls directly in the rack, which is really handy. You don't have to go to the mixer anymore to change that. So you've been able to do that for a while, but if I now double click on this audio clip, you can see that it's got slice markers automatically and you didn't have to do anything to do that. It just happens by itself. Now, of course, you don't have to change the timing of your audio clips. You can leave them exactly as they are. It hasn't actually changed the sound of it or the timing yet. All it's done is analyzed it and made it editable. So if I zoom in slightly, you can see that it's done a pretty good job of detecting these transients. Obviously this works better with rhythmic material, but it works with anything. So now if I move around one of these or two of these little transients, you'll hear that I'm able to change the timing of the clip. So here's the original clip. Okay. So I could uh, move this around, let's say, And this is obeying the snap settings, so I can turn this to something more precise, move the slices a bit more carefully like that. So I've completely changed the feel of that loop, but I haven't had to export that clip and I haven't had to load it into some other wave editor or mess about with it. And you'll see also that there are slice and transpose types, stretch and transpose types, it calls them. Um, all around is a good all rounder, as the name would suggest. You're also able to adjust this uh, if the material you're working with is melodic or if it's a vocal, and that will use different algorithms uh, to change the way that the audio is sliced up. You're also able to open it in the regular comp edit mode, which has been there since Reason 6. And if you come out of that, you're back into the timeline. So we've now changed the feel of that loop. Very, very easily. You're also able, as we'll see, to use the tool window to um, quantize slices. So you can change the feel of an audio loop according to quantize rules rather than just manually dragging. But we will get into the details of that later on.